Here's the Fitbit Versa 4. I'm going to show you how to get up and running, how to use the watch as well as the app, and also how to add the Find My Phone feature as well. So, first thing to note is you only have one button, the side button here, okay? So it doesn't matter where you are on the watch. If you ever click on the side button, it'll bring you directly back to your clock face. And anytime you want to go back from a screen, what you want to do is, like for instance, let me just uh, go to display here. Now if I wanted to go back, just swipe from the left to the right, okay? So that's back. So remember, back is left to right. Clock face, click on the side button, all right? Really quickly, how to change the bands. See the little lever right there? That little black thing, just press up, and then just pull it out. Put it back in, it just snaps into place. Just put it into the grooves. Clicks, and there you go. Now let me go to clock face here. Now, I mean, we can swipe down, up, left, or right, okay? Now if we just swipe down from the clock face, you get these quick settings here, okay? And you can see uh, this first one here, that is do not disturb. This one is sleep, sleep mode is on. And then when you turn sleep mode on, it's also gonna make the brightness over here very dim, okay? So you have brightness here, and you can do max, dim, or normal. I'll leave mine on normal. Uh, you also have over here, always on display. Basically your display will always stay on, but it's kind of a battery killer. So I like to leave that off. And you also have this one right here in the middle, screen wake. When you have this clicked, you can see it says button only, okay? If you have this checked right here, then every time you flick your wrist towards you, it's not gonna come on. It's only gonna work if you only click on the button, okay? So just make sure that's off if you wanna be able to, uh, you know, flick your wrist and for it to come on, as well as the button, make sure that's off, okay? And then over here, you have your settings here. And you have, uh, let's see, display, vibration audio, your notifications, I'll, I'll show you how to turn on and off the notifications as well, okay? You got the goal reminders here. You can read through this, okay? And also, um, it says down here at the very bottom, it says about Versa 4. Now, if you tap on that, now if you ever need to do a factory reset, it's right here, factory reset, okay? Now, let's go back. So I'm, what I want to do is remember, swipe from the left to the right. Let me, oops, let me go back, all right? And then you also have shut down, okay? You can turn that, tap that, and you can do yes to turn it off. Now there's also a way that you can restart it, okay? Um, let's say for instance, maybe your um, Fitbit is frozen or something's not working right, or um, you can't shut it down. What you can do is force a restart. And force a restart is very simple, okay? So anytime you get like an issue, you wanna restart it, just press and hold the side button, okay? So I'll press and hold it, ready, set, go. Press and hold, and just keep holding on to it. Don't worry about what's happening to the screen. Continue to hold the side button until you see the Fitbit logo appear, okay? It usually takes about 15 seconds or so, so just be patient here. Okay, Fitbit logo, now go ahead and let it go. And let it boot up normally. Again, this is just a forced restart. You're not gonna lose any data or anything like that. We should see an X here, and then give a little bit to boot up normally. There's the X, and let's wait for it to boot up now. Okay, there we go. And also with the quick settings, I mean, with this clock face and everything, you can see the battery percentage down here is 82%. Okay, I show you how to change the clock face as well. I, I actually like the default one they have already on here. Now, you've seen if I swipe um, from the top down, you get the uh, quick panel, quick panel here, okay? Now, if I slide left or I slide, slide to the right, it doesn't matter. It's going to show all of the tiles, okay? So I'll just swipe over here. So here I have steps. So far, I did like almost 900 steps today. Today's activity, you can see like how many steps you have, um, how far you walked or you ran so far. If you want more details, just click on any of these. Like for instance, if I just tap on that one, it says today, then you can see like steps, your actual distance, floors, calories, heart rate, resting heart rate, and so on. Okay, now let me go back. So I'm gonna swipe from the left to the right like that. And then I'm gonna swoop over. So the other tiles, you can see my uh, your heart rate here, uh, how many hours I slept last night. I slept six hours and six minutes. Uh, you have a timer here. You can go ahead and set a timer or do a countdown. I usually set a 20-minute timer for meditation. And then once the timer runs out, your uh, it will uh, the watch will vibrate as well. Okay? Let me turn that off. Let's 
go back. So that's timer here, and then I'm going to go back. And you got the weather here. I didn't sync that yet. Start exercise. So for instance, you can go ahead, you, you, you want to run or hike or whatnot, or you can tap down here, click on all, and go to exercise, and then you can see, or you can tap on other exercises down here. Okay, so look for the one that you want, walk, run, bike, treadmill, I mean, you have a lot of them, okay? You can even have swimming on here, and so on. So for instance, let's say you're going to go ahead and do a run, we'll tap on run here, and it's connecting to the GPS, and from here you can go ahead and start to run. Okay, get ready, set. Okay, now you're going to go ahead and start running, and then you can see how many miles you went, how many calories you're burning, your average pace, and so on. And then you can always pause and then resume, but once you're done, you can just go ahead and click on end, okay? But you can see your stats down here in real time as well. But if you want to end it, your running is over, we'll tap on end right there. And then from here, you can just go ahead and read all of your stats down there, and then cl click on done right there. So we're going to start exercising, we can move over. Now we're back on the time, so it doesn't matter. We, the left or right shows you the same thing, okay? Now let me go back to my clock face. I'll just go ahead and tap on my side button. Now if I slide up, now this is going to show me all my notifications, okay? You can see I got a phone call there, text message, text message, um, looks like my dad called, another voicemail, text message, and so on. So that's where you get the notifications from, okay? You want to slide from the bottom up. Now let's go through the uh, Fitbit app really quickly, okay? So go ahead and open up the Fitbit app right here, okay? And then from here, if you click on today, and just make sure that if I click on the avatar, the top left hand side, tap on that avatar, and just make sure that yours says the Versa 4 is connected to. Okay, so now let me click on today. So I have my today stats here. You can see how many steps I went, miles, calories. You can look down here, how many hours I slept last night, uh, what time I went to bed, uh, what time I woke up, resting time, and you can see other stats down here as well. So you can see like uh, my steps here. Now I, up here in the left hand arrow, you can click left and you can go to yesterday stats. You can see everything you did yesterday. Go to day prior, go to day prior, okay? Let's go back to today. And then you can also, uh, steps here. So far I did like almost 900 steps. You can tap on that. And let's see, today I did 900 steps so far. Yesterday I did nine, almost 7,000. Well, look at this, 13,000. Uh, trying to keep it you know, at least 10,000 steps a day. And you can see how many steps I did throughout. And then we can go back here. And same thing with miles, uh, how many miles you walked or ran total. You can see there. And then, of course, calories. You can see how much calories you burned right there, all through here. I had a nice 3,300 calorie burn on uh, like two weeks ago, or last Thursday, actually. And, and you have sleep down here. Now, this one's like pretty important for me, the sleep. So let me tap on that. Today I didn't really get good sleep. I got six and uh, like six hours sleep, but it was all like broken up. Okay, so I would sleep like you can see. I slept like three hours. Then I woke up and I couldn't fall asleep for an hour. Then I finally fell asleep for an hour and a half. And then I woke up. I was up for another hour. Finally went to sleep another hour and a half. But total was like six hours. And you can see the previous day here. Uh, Monday was seven and a half hours. About seven hours on Sunday. Seven and a half hours almost on Saturday, and so on. And you can get more details as well, like Monday, seven and a half hours of sleep, I can tap on that. And you can see your actual sleep stages here, like how long you were up for, your REM, your light, your deep, and so on. And you can see like in the red, like where you were um, up during your sleep. And you can also go down, how many minutes you were up, you can see that in there, and so on, all right? And let me go back to today right there all right now if I go back to the avatar the top left hand side if I type that avatar right there and you just scroll down you have other settings here okay you got your account settings activity wellness help and support uh, notifications third-party apps now here's notifications okay so if I tap on notifications you can look through these notifications here 
whichever one you want on or off, okay? And then let me go ahead and go back here. Now from here, I mean, you can see the Versa 4 is connected. So let me go ahead and tap on Versa 4 right there. And now down here, we have some other settings here, uh, notifications, reminders to move. If you guys notice, you always get that reminders to move every like hour or so. It's kind of annoying. So for myself, I actually like turn mine off. That's one of the first things I do for this Fitbit. Also notifications, okay? So this right here under the Versa 4 notifications, this is for calls, texts, and calendar events, okay? If you don't want it to go to your watch, then just go ahead and just untoggle those off, okay? But I'll just leave those two on, and then let me go back here. Now also, when we're here, okay, at Versa 4 right here, we have gallery, okay? So you can go ahead and change your clock face, so it only takes a second, but we have Versa 4 here. Now we have clocks over here, okay? Clocks, apps, tiles, okay? So let's go to clocks. So here's all your clock faces, you know, you, by Fitbit, always on displays and so on. Let me just go here by Fitbit, I can view all, and I'll just get look at the ones that are free, and these ones are all free, so let's say I wanted this one here, I'll just tap on that right there, click on install, and this one's for the best experience. I'll select all, proceed, and then watch this clock face change. So I got a little progress bar right there, and there's one that started here on the watch. And it's just about done. The watch just vibrated. And voila. Okay, so now we have that that clock face. And let me just go back here. So I want to change it back to the original clock face. Let me just go to Versa 4 over here. And you can see the other clock faces I had. That last one is right over here. But I like that default one. So let me just go back to this one and I'll just put that back. Oh, there we go. That was super quick. And then, okay, so we have the we went over to clocks, how to change your clock face. You have apps, okay, so you have tiles here. You can go read through this, okay, but another important one is apps, okay? Now go to apps, and then, you know, you guys should probably download this one here, Find My Phone, okay? So this one here, mine's already installed. Go ahead and tap on install. It takes like five seconds to set this up. Once you install this, you'll be able to use this watch to find the phone, okay? Now once you install that, just go to your watch here. I mean, just go to the uh, clock face and then click on the uh, side button one more time. And then you'll see this right here, okay? It should say like all apps. And then go ahead and look down. Now, you sh once you install this, you it should say find phone, okay? So when you tap on that right there, find phone, and then tap on find phone. And if you wanna cancel it, once you find your phone, you wanna go ahead and tap on cancel, okay? Also take note that in order for this to work, it has to be in Bluetooth range, about 30 feet. Does not matter if your phone's on silent or mute, it's still gonna ring. And this is a feature I probably use at least a few times a week. It saves a lot of uh, time and stress trying to find your phone. And there you go. So that should pretty much get you up and running. If you guys have any other questions or anything, just uh, comment below, all right? Good luck, guys. Bye.